Hi everyone. Um, in this tutorial today, I want to uh, show you how you can use variables. Now, people who are not familiar with programming, they can't know or they don't know uh, what is va what variables are. Now, variables are something like a container uh, within you can put any quantity. Now, in uh, scripting or in programming these quantities might be a number might be a string might be a floating number or might be something else well, maybe an object too so uh, we need to use variables uh, through our scripts and throughout everything so to define variables we simply use the keyword var uh, var var then followed by the name say uh, name say okay uh, now uh, this name the naming the variable there are certain rules you know I guess um, something that the name can't start with a letter and it can't have white spaces although it can have some underscores and things so we keep this in simple simply we are declaring the name variable with the statement and then to assign value simply we do this thing same name is Dave sorry say my name is say a b c d dot 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 say this is a name and you can use this name along with the document of write say you want to say a hello <laughs> so you simply type in d o c c u document dot write um hello hello then add a plus to concatenate is value and then simply type name and you are done make a space so it looks good and um, this is it let's load it up in the browser and let's see what it gives m2 okay and you got hello abcd now advantage of using variables suppose you want to change the name you don't have to go there in the document that write and uh, change it up you can simply go there and uh, simply type this thing Dave and load it in the web browser let's see it gives Dave or not and hopefully so it gives him means it's a quantity that can vary and this is and remember the statement the statement is called the assignment statement and the assignment operator is this thing the equal sign now means the value got assigned into the name you can also write some numbers within it now first you have to define it say x and x equals 23 say you want to uh, have and then you simply want to print it out then say x okay let's see how it looks in the web browser f5 and this is how we have expected to work uh, now one thing that uh, javascript uh, have the var variable it can contain anything just like the way it contains a string it can contain an uh, integer too uh, it's not like other native languages where there are uh, separate types of variable to handle separate type of data so this is how javascript variables are um, the lesson ends here thanks for watching